so I just came back from the event today. Uh, in my beard, I have green face cake makeup, if you can't tell. Probably on my ears as well. And I will explain that later. So, my first event uh, was a Legacies game here in Washington State. I was like, you know what? What the hell? I thought, you know, I figured I'd start uh, my LARP career this year. Because I'm 27. <laughs> have never LARPed before. And I should have been doing this 10 years ago, to be honest. I should have. And if you're watching this video and you're on the fence, you need to hop that fence. So my friend and I went the first night. And mind you, this is um, mid to end February in Washington State. So you have no idea what the, wa the weather is going to be. It could be 70 degrees, sunny. Or, unfortunately, in this situation, was about 26 and snowing. Pouring snow. So we get to the, the site event. And it was one of the national parks. And it was about six inches of snow. Uh, snowing heavily. We couldn't find the event location. There wasn't, uh, there wasn't too clear of directions. I mean, they described it and we were trying to find it, but it was, it was dark and we decided to get out of the truck, walk around with cloaks and, uh, we couldn't find anything. So, um, it was a little, um, discouraging. Um, and we went back home with our tail between our legs. It's a three-day event. So the next morning I decided, you know what? I'm going to go. It's better to show up and, ex you know, experience what I experience than to not come at all. I know it might be bad as a first-time player uh, showing up late, but I need to do this. So I decided to pack my stuff and try again. And... We found the event this time, and it was like a quarter mile from where we were the night before. It was seriously just a road next to where we were parked, and if we just followed that road, we would be there. So I get there, and the first thing I see is these red people walking around these red fire chickens, which is totally unexplainable by me because I have no idea what's going on. And I on. step out of the car in dressed in garb. Um, but I think I was too new. They didn't really pay me mind. And so I go in the tavern and I didn't, I don't think I said it with an accent. I might've, but I was, I said, who's in charge here? And I think he thought that I was in game and he started looking for the mayor of the town. <laughs> Uh, but I was like, no, 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 I just showed up. I need to, I need to sign in real quick. Um, and they were super friendly. Uh, the gentleman that helped me, I, I, his name escapes me. He was some, I think he was a gypsy or a lot of flashy stuff. Uh, but he was very, very kind and informative. And, uh, he took me in real quick and was quick to set up my character and anything I needed. Um, so it was very, very welcoming. Before I talk about what happened that night, which is uh, where I had all my fun. Um, let me tell you what I went as. So I pre-created a character a couple days before the event, a uh, human alchemist, healer. So it was kind of, um, I have a club on me, I have a dagger for backup, which I'll show you those weapons later. Um, but basically my main purpose is to run around heal people, resurrect people, and chuck potions of people. <laughs> I just I just went with a full-on alchemist healer. Um, human. I, uh, I wasn't up for doing makeup on my face uh, and ears yet, so um, I just thought I'd try it out first. And maybe my second character will be like an, like an elvish ranger, because I want to use a bow and shoot people. Because that just sounds like great fun. Let me run you down my gear that I went with. Um, I got a lot of compliments, I guess. Um, seeing as I'm a first time ever LARPer, people were giving me quite nice compliments on my outfit, which was, it was nice to hear. But 
you know, what is happening outside? So I try to have physical representations for everything in my inventory. Um, rope, of course. Might need rope. I went with two gloves. I only ended up wearing one because with this bracelet on, uh, the bracelet I made, uh, but with this bracelet on, I couldn't fit a glove with it because it's a little too tight. So since I'm a lefty, I brought the one with my left hand so I can pull and use it as some sort of grip. Potions. So I brought about 20 or so potions. Let me get this open for you. you gotta keep looking at my damn self. Boom. Uh, tons of potion bottles and next event, of course, I will be filling these with certain color vials, maybe energy drinks, maybe oils or uh, random concoctions I can put in here to represent the potion and then people can actually drink it if they want to, to make it a little more immersive. So I'll probably do that, uh, especially for um, something called Aqua Vitae, I believe. And those are just basic healing spells. So healing potions. So I'll probably fill those with blue, green. I'll probably fill those with green because green is more healy than, I don't know why. I don't know why green's healy, but green, Seems like a Healy color. Next item. This is actually my leather working uh, tool belt, which is supposed to fit all my leather working tools in. But I've decided to switch the tools out and put little vials because you know what? I'm an alchemist and what the hell. This is my alchemy cat. So I think it's an old, uh, I found this, this at the thrift store for like five bucks. It's an old wine carrier. I believe, could be wrong. I just sort of, I ripped off the the brand name and slapped a tiger bling on it <laughs> to make it look more. All right, and what we have inside, which none of this uh, really came up in game yet because I didn't get much time to play my character, um, which is fine. Boom, it's loaded. Let me show you what I have inside here. So of course on the top, we've got two vials, um, which I know for later games to fill them with something. And then inside, we've got um, just a box for random stuff I find, uh, for random items, item pickups. Um, this, in case I have to do any rituals, because um, I know for certain spells, especially with healing, you can cast them as rituals. I believe. Don't quote me on that. I'll see some of the legacy people getting on here and yelling at me. <laughs> I'm misrepresenting their alarm. Oh, God. Um, of course, incense shards everywhere. Because, uh... Anyways, I got this. Uh, oh, this is riddles. And uh, she goes with me everywhere, so... She went with me LARPing. This is made by a company called Quinn and Bloom. Uh, you can find them on Instagram, on Etsy. Um, and these are called Dustlings. And they're incredibly cute. And fluffy. And they feel like real creatures. And they put little things in their pouch. This one came with a staff. So. Alright. So I've got this. Of course. Hydrate. Boom, goes right in there. I've got my alchemist journal. And more potions. Big surprise. All right, next I brought, I know I brought a lot of stuff for my first time, but that's okay. I was over prepared. Next, uh, I have a scroll holder, which I sell on my website, by the way, baldricksemporium.com, shameless plug. And um, these that clip onto my ring belt. So these represent potions, this obviously healing. And then I got something else I'm gonna use for a different thing. And then we got a clear one as well. And I might add a red one for alchemy potions. 
So I have those as well. Those go around my belt. Next we have sword holder. So I kind of I had to ex I had to expand this a bit because I didn't exactly go with the sword. I went with something called the dentist, which I will show you later. And and my stiletto just sinks right in this bottom one. So got the stiletto, and then I had my main weapon right here. So that hung on my hip. Next we have a two vial potion holder, which is available on the website, baldrixemporium.com. This holds two little vials, which, uh, it's fucking cute, right? Okay. No explanation. We either. have this. Uh, this didn't really come up in game at all because I didn't get a chance to play my character that much. But. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You never know when that's going to come in handy. This is a birdseed packet spell. <laughs> Spells, they usually use any color, usually white. And then, um, Alchemy, they use these in specifically red. And I think there might be another one, but I'm not quite sure. So they fill these with, uh, millet? I'm not quite sure what that was. It was like a certain bird seed that was really small, kind of like quinoa, but softer. So we threw these at people. And I specifically threw lightning bolts with these packets. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Um, and last, uh, most importantly, is this, which is my personal pouch that I can keep character inventory, which is listed here. This is a starter packet they gave me as, um, healer alchemist. So, you know, you've got, let's look through here. You want to look through here? Okay. My inventory. Uh, they gave me gold coin to spend in game. Which is a thousand, hundred copper, I think. So, yeah. So I have, uh, both of my one-handed weapons were mastercrafted. You know, you've got your resurrection stones. You've got your holy water. Uh, the terror corpus, which instantly kills people. Uh, you've got lay of hands, scroll, um, Got some serums, some barriers, some buffers, uh, some protection potions, um, some nullify potions. So that's that's kind of what they st they started me with, like a support character, which is exactly what I asked for. And most importantly, this the your character sheet. Boom. So I'm just a basic human. I took some ranks and toughness. Uh, to bring my body up to 85. So your body is basically how much base hit points you have uh, beneath your armor and beneath um, uh, any other buffs you have. So that's like your main hit points. So you start with 50. I started with 85 because I took some reins and toughness. I have some what they call Vala, which is your spellcasting ability. So I took uh, some healing spells as well. I also took an ability called Soldier, which uh, buffs my base one-handed damage to 10 and Hi, Daddy. 5. Hi! What are you doing? No, baby, not yet. Is she brushing her teeth? Okay, all right. Daddy's recording. All right, so as soon as... So he gets me all ready with my character sheet. Make sure I understand the basic rules of combat, um, my healing abilities. Um, we found a quick, uh, just quick, shoddy background for me to explain to people. And uh, so he basically tells me to go out the... This is the gentleman that first greeted me. He's helping me with all this, setting up my character. So he tells me to go out the back room and walk around the tavern like I'm just arriving. And I gotta tell you. I was nervous. I 
was very nervous. I didn't know what to expect because I didn't um, I didn't meet that many players. I didn't know anybody there. I was totally brand new, not in my element. It was pretty nerve wracking, but once, and it was a little awkward. I gotta be honest. I got. I gotta tell you. I'm wearing all my gear. I'm a complete stranger, and there are people kind of separated in groups, talking amongst themselves. And as a new player, what do you do? The first person I really talked to uh, was a lady who was feline. So she was kind of a feline humanoid character, and she was sitting by herself away from all the groups by the fire. So I, you know, I decided to go down there. I asked if it was okay to sit with her and we started talking about her life. Like, why was she there? And come to find out she was being chased by these, uh, I don't know if they're demons or spirits, but like they, the first person they see, they lock onto them and they won't stop until that person's dead or they die. So and she said she's been attacked like three times today. <laughs> so she's sitting over there by the fire all freaked out. And that was that was a pretty cool interaction. And then from there I learned that there was a kind of this uh, like a circus that comes into town um, every once in a while called the Menagerie. And they show off magical creatures. So, you know, darkness falls and... Uh, I'm trying my best to jump into someone's group, but it's not really happening because uh, I know I'm a new character to the area. So, you know, no one's going to just... It's not d and In d and mostly what happens, it's really tropey. It's kind of cheesy is there's a new player that shows it to the table. The other characters, the other players obviously know they're there to join the group and they take them into the group without any question. <laughs> okay. Not like that in LARP at all. You have to earn their trust. You have to, uh, do stuff for them. And, um, so it's fine. So I kind of, uh, I kind of mixed in the middle and went in and out of groups, talking to random people, introducing myself especially making myself friendly to the town guard, uh, the town city watch. Um, and so this whole thing went down. There was a barn like, like a half a mile down a field, a huge barn that they set up a show, which was pretty cool. There was about 60 ish, maybe 70 people there at the LARP, the, the night I went. And, um, they set up this whole thing where uh, the guy would bring out the next magical creature and they the creature would be lined up in lights and it was pretty cool. People were ooing and aahing and uh, it was pretty cool and I was, I was at the back just watching the perimeter because I was like, this is a LARP. I, we're going to get, you know, we're going to get uh, invaded here anytime. But it didn't happen. The night... Uh, that that went off without a hitch, which was really cool. Um, and I found a place to sleep because they asked me to find a place to sleep in game instead of just setting up my quarters. Because every cabin at that event has a certain purpose. And once I heard there was a temple and I'm a healer, I that's instantly where. I was attracted to going, so they had to, uh, I think they casted something or they were trying to find out if I was lying about who I was or what my intentions was to the town. I basically told them I was just here to see the menagerie and to, you know, help any way I can because I come from a place called Blackwater, which is like extremely dangerous people that live there. <laughs> so I'm just kind of trying to escape from that situation. Okay, so the next thing that happened was I finally got permission to stay at the temple, and I met some, I think she's a constable of the town, 
some like uh, she's basically the cop of the town. So I introduced myself to her, and she guided me to where I was staying. And after I set up all my stuff and I was outside, um, one of the NPCs came up to me and basically recruited me for a quest. And I was like, yes, of course. Why would I not do that? And um, he also promised me uh, uh, two, uh, two uh, he promised me a silver and out of game some XP or, you know, favor, of course. Uh, which is, you know, something you can use for various things. <laughs> to know people or exchange for skill points stuff like that so i agree to it and uh he goes and gathers a couple more people and i didn't know what was going on but basically he was recruiting for all of us to go back to plot and be npcs so this whole time i haven't had combat yet my player hasn't entered combat and my first combat is going to be me as an npc so we get to the plot room and they just have shit everywhere. Like they've got costumes and weapons, and uh, it was great. I, I could have uh, spent all day in that room just looking at all this stuff. <laughs> and so they had me and four or five other players paint our skins red and green. Reds for ogres, green for goblin. Um, and three of the people there that were, so it was their first event at Legacies, just like me, although it was my first time, like, LARPing at all, so this is, like, super brand new. So they had me dress in orc costume, they painted my face, put some, like, you know, like, heavy-duty overcoat on, I put on some green bracers to match my face. Basically, we went on a raid, and it was glorious. So my heart was beating pretty fast. My adrenaline started kicking in. I had um, just a mace in this hand, and uh, we were sneaking through the woods, and it was pitch black. There were six inches of snow. Um, it was snowing a bit, so it was it was it was so cool. And we were sneaking through the woods like being super stealthy we're all in formation and there's a big group of pcs um you know around a uh, around a fire you know they were just having fun and just enjoying the night it was about 10 o'clock 11 o'clock at night and we line a perimeter around the dark edge of the forest and we don't even wait until they notice us we just bum rush them uh, us and the, uh, the ogres, and they, uh, I think one of them yelled, like, we're under attack, and everyone just started, like, scrambling to pull out their weapons, and we just went in, just swinging. I was a little, to be honest, I was a little hesitant to hit people at first, because I've, I've never done this before, but as soon as I got hit, I was like, you know what? But once they realized that I had certain abilities, uh, especially pretty deadly ones, um, they were quick to take us down, and especially me, they circled around me and just started hitting me from every direction in the back, like, with, uh, silver weapons and just, like, holy weapons or whatever, I'm not sure, they were just, they were kicking my ass, that's for sure. So they took me down, so it was my first, you know, death as an NPC, which, uh, it was entertaining, I got to die, so that was fun. <laughs> And then, so I laid on the ground for about five minutes in the snow while they searched my body. And then someone stabbed me through the heart with a silver dagger and then cut off my head. <laughs> to like, it, was, it was very entertaining while they were trying to figure out why we were sent and who we were, we were with. So, we respawn about an hour or two later. It's about one in the morning. And we get a print on our wrist, which I still have on my wrist. Uh, we're brought into this room and we're like, okay, you're going on a raid, you're gonna 
go inspect the cabins and see if there are locked doors. And if they're not locked, you're going to go in there and raid them. Awesome. So second time around, it's about remember, it's about 1 in the morning, so people are sleeping. And I remember this one particular cabin. Um, so we're all sneaking through the snow. Um, we don't see a lock on this door. And, uh, you know, we all quietly gather on the on the front porch of this cavern cabin and the leader the leader kind of turns it and he's like it's unlocked go and so we all we go in there and the pcs are unarmed dressed down uh they're in garb but just their base garb they don't have armor they don't have anything on they're just sitting around like playing a card game or just you know talking in low light or whatever and they're just like, what the hell? And uh, I guess they forgot to put the lock on the door, but we bust through the door, uh, just funneling and just smacking them, uh, just whipping out damage, and they're scrambling to get their weapons. And uh, But as soon as they get their weapons, they kind of form a wall. We push them against the back wall, so we're just... We're pressing them against the back side of their cabin, and they're just swinging wildly. And we're, we're, you know, swinging wildly trying to take them out. And I've got my healer behind me, buffing me, casting lightning bolts over my shoulder. And then uh, one of the guys um, uh, with, like, a magic weapon breaks my weapon. And I don't know what to do, so I kind of I shrink to the back of the group. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm weaponless. And uh, the gentleman next to me had, gives me some of his, um, his uh, I think they were, he had, because uh, he was part alchemist, I think, he had some like lightning bolt things that he could cast. So he gave me some and I was lightning, bolt, lightning bolting their healer. So all said and done, uh, we killed the player. Took someone hostage, and <laughs> scared the living shit out of them, which was hilarious and and fun. As I'll get out. Um, so that was my night for about five hours. Uh, so my combat experience so far has just been an orc raiding the town, which was unbelievably fun. That was my first experience. Um, everyone was pretty nice, and um, yeah, it was. I'll be back next month. So um, if you live close to, if you live in Washington State, uh, Legacies LARP, they do a, they do a good job. Um, I have no other thing to reference it to because this is my first one, but I thought it was pretty amazing. So definitely go check them out. Okay, now there is good things and there is bad things that I've noticed so far in my experience. Bad things weren't too bad, but uh, good things. Everyone was friendly. Um, no one talked about politics, social politics, which is the plus because that can get messy. Um, everyone was pretty dedicated to their character. Um, they did a very good job of props. So all of the cabins were decked out. I know the temple I was staying in had an altar. They had, um, I'll show pictures. Um, they had an altar, they had benches in there and tapestry set up. So that was pretty cool. They did a really good job uh, dressing everything up, especially the tavern. Um, they had all the, the tables in various areas. They had the little fire, fake fireplace set up. So that was pretty cool. So that was good. It was, it was pretty immersive. Another good thing was um, communicating in combat. Uh, a lot of people that I was going one-on-one -on -one with did a very good job communicating to me how much damage they were doing. If I didn't know something, I could ask them and then they would just inform me. So um, people were very helpful as a new player. So that was very, very nice. Another good thing, uh, Plot did a fantastic job um, laying out the story, getting uh, people together to be NPCs. Um, the excitement level was always up here. There might have, there, 
there may be a period, maybe like an hour of peace that you can walk around, do what you need to do. Uh, if you have a quest, like try to complete it. Um, but other than that, it was like stuff was happening. At least when I was there, stuff was happening, you know, every hour or so. So you never got bored. That was good. Now, here is uh, the things I wasn't so impressed on. And it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just things I noticed. Uh, so the main thing was uh, people, yes, they're in character, but they're almost not in character. So uh, a lot, well, and it could be comfortability level because I noticed some people can't um, totally immerse themselves as a character and just be that character because you'll see the you know the player talking a lot uh, and that's just you know something that people try to work on that's that's not anything bad is you know I'm not sure to be my maybe. only other um, issue as a new player was um, yes there was a lot of very nice people um, they seem to be welcoming, and the only thing that, um, I had a problem with was trying to fit in as a new player, as a new character. So I know it's probably been running, uh, for, you know, it's been running for about, what, seven years, and people have, you know really high level characters they're in their guilds they're in their groups they've got their clicks and they see you know just this newbie come in and uh not many people i guess want anything to do with a newbie so that was a little little off-putting because i had to constantly try to find a place or to find a group or to find anybody that would just interact with my character. So that was a little that was a little rough. That was probably the hardest part. But I didn't did end up connecting with um the other NPCs that were raiding with me. Um those guys were pretty cool. And there was a girl that was brand new too. So all all four of us uh were new to this LARP and you know, that's kind of how it happens. You know, newbies group with newbies. So it would have been nice, uh, to, I'll bring a friend next time for sure, but uh, those are my only concerns or issues with the, with the LARP. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I encourage you to check out baldricksemporium.com. Thank you for watching.